You bought your first Lachampa pot of ancient cookware and you're wondering how to take care of it and how to cure it. In this video, we will show you how. So when you first get your Lachampa pot, it's a good idea to wash it. A lot of times it has residual dust from the manufacturing process, so you really want to get it nice and clean before you start. Let me give you an idea of why you need to cure it. Clay is naturally porous. If you were to fill it with water and leave it in the counter overnight, it will wake up in the morning with a little pool of water because the water will naturally seep through. If you cure it, it will not seep through anymore. You only have to do this once when you buy it and you'll never have to cure it again. So what is the idea? The idea is to plug up all the pores of the clay so that the water does not seep through anymore. The curing process really should only have to be done in the pots. Things like plates or serving bowls, you really don't need to because it was not going to have a lot of standing water for a long period of time. So you really don't need to worry about plates, bowls to be able to cure it. Basically only the cooking pots. Now, every culture that cooks in clay has a different method. The method I'm going to show you in this video is how to cure a pot the way they do traditionally in Colombia. However, there are many other methods. Now the truth is that the La Chamba pot is so well made and because of the process that it goes through to make it, the pores are very tight. So you almost don't even need to cure it, but it's always a good idea to do so just to make sure that it, your pot does not leak when you start to use it. Once you've cleaned your pot, removed your tag, you can start the curing process. You don't need to cure the top, really only the pot. What we'll do is we'll start it off in the stove and heat it up a little bit. So the Lachampa pot can go on a stove top, whether it's gas, electric, or like this one, glass. It can also go in the oven, in the microwave if you wish. You can put it on a grill or open fire. It will take all of those heats. So to start the process, we go ahead and we start heating it. You start heating it slow. By the way, the way you work with uh, clay pots is you bring it up to temperature slowly. You don't want to shock it in temperature. If it shocks, it can crack. You also don't want to lower the temperature very quickly either. Like you don't want to take a hot pot and put it on a cold surface or in the refrigerator until it has a time to cool down. So we're going to heat this pot up a little bit. Not a heck of a lot, just enough so that uh, it starts to feel the heat a little bit. Now that your pot is warm, we're going to uh, put plantain on it. Plantain, you can get that at most Latin American markets, uh, but if you don't have access to plantain, a regular banana will do just as well. Again, this is the traditional method that they use in Colombia. You take a plantain and you cut it in half, and you're basically going to put it on the pot like you would on a crayon or a lipstick. You basically get the uh, plantain and you rub it all on the surface as much as you can only on the inside, of course, on the bottom and on the sides. You try to go up as high as you can and just rub it as good as you can. You see the plantain, especially if it's ripe enough, it starts to leave a residue. You let that sit for a little bit until the uh, plantain starts to get a little bit dry. So this has been sitting here for a while and the plantain is relatively dry. So now I'm going to rinse it off in the sink and I'll be right back. In terms of taking care of your pot, once you start using it, you don't want to put it in the dishwasher. And you don't want to use overly scented soaps because it can penetrate the clay and give you a taste of the food that you really don't want. Now that your pot is washed, it is ready to go. It, you can start using it, it's not going to leak. Now there are other methods that you could use, as I said, other cultures use other methods. You could wipe it down with oil. You could use any type of edible oil. I prefer olive oil, but you could use anything that you like. Use another method, which is making a saute of onions and garlic in whatever oil you like, and making sure that the oil coats the whole bottom. That will penetrate the clay and seal it. You, can, you also take tongs with a paper towel and make sure to wipe the oil all along the sides. The third method is putting it in the oven and letting it heat. Also coating it with oil only on the inside, putting it back into the oven and let it sit there, turn the oven off, and with that heat, it will also uh, penetrate the clay. Now that your pot is cured and ready to go, you're ready to start cooking it. We hope that you really enjoy the cooking experience in the La Chamba pot. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for recipes and other new products at Ancient Cookware. Thank you, bye-bye.